Real quick, comment below. Who do you think is going to win this contest today? Selling the most out of their load. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, pirates. It is the butt crack of dawn and we are ready to go to the flea market. Gotta grab some tables. First flea market I have sold at in almost three months since the whole quarantine and everything. And I, I gotta go. I don't have a huge load, but really I just need to see what the market's about. I'm told there's only 25 vendors today. We'll see in a minute when we get there. Let's grab our tables real quick. There she is in the horizon. So, we haven't even had a chance to unload and sold. I shopped around and look what I got here, ladies and gentlemen. All things police right here. Hoo-hoo, look at all them police patches. Look at them all. We got, what do we have here? We have more police patches and buttons. Oh my, this is gonna be exciting. Police, 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 police. I feel a big auction coming. We'll get into this more a little later. Getting this load set up. And ladies and gentlemen, this is the first item I've sold back out of quarantine at the flea market in over three months. 15, I didn't buy that, sell that. $15. And we sold this light here for 25. And ladies and gentlemen, we're selling this for $70 right here. Another $5 sale. Thank you. Have a good day. So I had to come to the market because, well, we haven't been here in months and everybody was telling me it's good. So you have to go and test different things. I can't just give up the market because you got so much fluff to get rid of. But it is not very happening. Want to be in the video? Want to be a pirate? Oh, oh, you trying to show something on camera, Uncle Michael? Uh, new pirate. I'm a new, new pirate. Say hello. Say I'm a new pirate. It's Papa. This what you do every time Papa you go to the market? Huh? Wait, so just what you do all the time, Papa, you go to the market? She's not very excited to be here. Hello? She's in strange environment. Just a little pup, she knows I'm with me. Taylor. Hey. Taylor. Taylor. Where we at? She's like, I don't know why you brought me here. Michael's granddaughter. I think that's like my second cousin because it's my cousin's daughter. I'm not sure how that works out. But anyway, she doesn't seem to be too excited at the flea market her first time out here. Funny. I, my kids used to be the same way. But the market itself is not entertaining today. I think we've done $219 so far. OS always duty calls. I have to take the little ones to a birthday party today. So we're gonna call it a wrap here at the flea market after almost 10 o'clock. Load up, get everything here nice and neat. All done, all packed up. Gotta hit the restroom real quick, maybe shop real quick. Let's do a little bit of picking. We've already gone crazy on picking stuff so far. And that's a wrap walking around was a bus i get i don't know what i was hearing about this being so great and everything but i'm not impressed i'm gonna give it one more try tomorrow here then we got the stocked and junk load markets we'll be doing a couple trail loads gonna test it but i'm very unimpressed day one the ducks are taking over ladies and gentlemen look at that they're like oh we own this now that work is done for now we are going to this store because we're going to a birthday party we are here at walmart but we must wait in line i hope this guy right here has a safe trip because this right here looks scary like it is about to roll over don't fall on my truck i said here we go again flashback who's watched the video when this young lady was covered in face tattoos who remembers that mm -mm -mm. i remember those videos in all the comments all right we are home at the house and i'm about to get ready to do an auction i bought a big purchase today for 400 bucks to resell real quick real fast gonna see if we can make some money i showed you a quick glimpse i'm gonna set it up real quick there's a lot of cool stuff here. All sorts of badges and doodads, pins and buttons. Anyway, let's spread it all out. All right, Pirates, I've got everything laid out. We're going to take a look at what I scored at the flea market today real quick. All these are pins. Most of them have some sort of police affiliation or something of that effect, law enforcement. Somebody is obviously a collector. This is a lot of pins. I'm talking one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight lots to be exact. But if you look at this, that in itself is a lot of money. There's a couple hundred of these here. Unsure what I'm going to get for them. I paid a total of $400 for everything you're seeing right now. And the next little clip I'm going to show that right there, that is good money. And this here was all part of this $400 purchase that I made. So basically it is a lot of 
paraphernalia, patches, patches, all sorts of law enforcement, sheriffs, a lot of Chicago, Illinois things. What do we got here? That was the patch I showed you. We got a little weird assortment of things here. Wow. I think I did pretty good for 400. We're about to see, because I'm going to be auctioning this. I'm um, probably already a pass. I would have already auctioned some of this. Maybe some will come in the future. I'm unsure how many lots I'll do. But that is a great amount of stuff in my eyes. Then, Pipes, we got something. You like, you know I love silver, gold, and gems, right? I scored on these silver coins, I think. I got a set of seven of these. They're all Olympic silver coins. Look at this. 925. Every one of them has a set of four. So there's a total of 20 eight coins in this whole set right here pick this up at the flea market as well i paid a pretty penny i had to pay 575 dollars either way it's a good investment but they could have more value i'm gonna give it a try like i, I like to test the market on things like this only way i'm not i'm only way i'm gonna know how to prep myself for the future of every type of markets i have to know how everything sells every market. that's what i do with this stuff not just because i need to make money but i like testing the market because maybe i don't want to sell at the flea market maybe i don't want to sell on craigslist facebook marketplace maybe i don't want to do ebay you know there's all sorts of maybe there's a better simpler way so i like to test to see if there's enough profit margin as well as being able to complement for paying taxes and fees and paypal etc cetera, etc cetera. so i think that was a hell of a score Comment below if you would have paid what I paid, 400 for the whole law enforcement kit or 575 Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, that. pirates of all ages, what is up? It is Sunday morning. We are heading to the flea market. Got a small little load again today. Not the biggest load, but it's not always what you, how much you bring, but it's what you bring. I have at least one really good choice item I could try to sell today. But anyway, I have a little competition with my friend today. Um, he's a little nuts. You may know him. We are going to see who can sell the most. We have a gentleman's bet. We have, I love, if you ever watch my videos and stuff, you know I say this all the time, Trading Places was one of my favorite movies as a kid. That's why I always only bet $1 because of Mortimer and Randolph. So we are making a $1 bet on who is going to sell the most out of our, well, I have a pickup and he has a truck and trailer. But it's, I'm, I'm a gambler, man. I'm willing to bet. So let's get started. Let's get to the flea market. Let's see what we're going to do and who's going to win. We got the table set up. I'm not ready to completely set up yet, but let's go check out what our competition's got. That's always fun. There, there's our competition. What's up, Jack? Right here. Yep, I said, I said on the way here, our competition is a little nuts. <laughs> so I got to beat a whole trailer load and a truck load. Yeah, odds are not in your favor. No, they're not, because I was, I was supposed to go. Yeah, you have help selling, I don't. That's not fair. I, I went to go load up this morning and they wouldn't let me in. All right, the competition is setting up. I better go do the same, but I did give them $1. I gave them $1. I bought this cool little game of Disney trivia to play with the little ones because they love Disney and so do I, so dollar. So we're getting set up. See what we got compared to Jack is gonna be small, but it's not always how much you sell, it is what you sell. That trunk over there in the sword, I want 1200 for. And we are all set up. I'll show you guys real quick a run through. Got a print that we were helping set Scott sell. We got this. Freemason set. I'm going to try to sell it for $1,200. Just random things that have been sitting around. The Ted Nugent bow. This came from the first of the train unit. This came from the first of the Silver Horde. It is a knockoff. Not a knockoff, but it is a Sigma Martin. We got just little random things. Nothing special, but stuff that needs to go. And I don't have time to put everything on the internet. Paintings, sports cards. This came from a unit I bought not too long ago with the bow case that was empty. I thought it was a gun, but no. Was it the $800 generator unit? Music equipment. Got more prints of Scott's, and we got that Dwight Clark autograph. We got some little bit of stuff from the train unit. A little bit of misc, those power amps still sitting around, and some music equipment. And of course, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Facebook, YouTube, Instagram. Thanks to the little ones, the little pancake and sugar cookie for making me this sign. And at this point, it's basically just sit here and wait for customers to come in, try to make some money. So let's see if we can beat the nuts and selling the most. Real quick, comment below. Who do you think's going to win this contest today? Selling the most out of their load. So far, this market is dead. I'm like, why did I get up? I could have stayed in bed cuddling with the little woman. Much more entertaining than sitting here at the flea market. Look, look at all the customers. Look at all of them. Uh, 40? I don't know if I have any change right now. Uh, sure. You can bring yeah. me back a five. Huh? You can bring me back a five. Yeah, but hmm, you're getting ready to leave in a bit here. Uh, 150. Two, oh, you three. All right. 
Mikey? Hey, what now? Well, it might be kind of hard to beat Jack with the way things are going. Even though I got good items, it only takes one to make a huge money. I only made 25 bucks back towards my entrance fee. Here's our booth. I mean, it's totally picked over by now. Uh, we have a lot more stuff this morning, but it's uh, it's selling slowly but surely. It's selling. I recognize this stuff. I just pulled that out yesterday. It's good stuff too. A little laundry basket. It's good, 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 good. All right, we sold. Oh, three of those. We had four trunks, two bucks each. Big whoop, right? Oh, this is cool. The forearm forklift. Oh, you know that was in there. Hmm. Look how much that sells for. Oh, right there, thirteen ninety nine. So, got some, look at this little box of BB guns. I've been trying to really purge out my garage. So some of the stuff came out of the garage. Some of the stuff's from lockers that I've been sitting on for like a year. That's out of the no-show, if you remember that really nice dish set. Uh, we just decided to drag it out here. That'll go home with us if we don't get our money. Boy, there was so much more stuff this morning. Sold a lot. This 10 bucks. A lot of stuff. A lot, a lot, a lot of stuff. Yeah, this is nice. Surprised no one's picked that up yet. Surprised and disappointed. All right, thank you. Oh. All right, no one's even asked about this. It's actually pretty nice. It's very sturdy. There's Jan in action. I don't know. You should unwrap this dude. He looks kind of interesting. Yeah, a lot of people keep looking at it. It's two dollars. Look, it's the competition, ladies and gentlemen. Did you come to laugh at my load? Don't show my logo. You have to blur it out now. All right. Well, this video will come out after you announce oh, it, right? Yeah. I don't think this will be tomorrow's video. I want to do the big unveiling tomorrow on our live. Made a twenty dollars sale, ladies and gentlemen. That's going out the door. And guess who I sold it to? What up, guys? It's Matt. Watch the video or walk the plank. Well, you gotta say Matt who, because otherwise Matt Romero. There you go. Otherwise, they know you, and I know that everybody knows your name. Crossing. That's a nice sign. Crossing. Look, doesn't match either. This doesn't match either jacket. Do you see this? He's trying to tell me he's, this is. An he's outfit. trying to offer Does me six hundred for. Match that. No, this. I said this doesn't. This is not part of it. And it doesn't match this either. No. Those pants don't complement this jacket. This. I don't know if where the are. money is. Is this? Yeah, look at that. That is Not a couple hundred bucks. That this. The case is rather cool. The hat's okay, and this belt. Look yes? at this hat. This here holds it back. The Civil War. It's 19, 1897. Oh, this is it's okay. underneath this mint condition silver lining. This is from the forty-two hundred dollar oh. three-peat. I don't know what I haven't come up with a good name for it, but they're masons. Yes. That's dated 1897. Lovely Masonic oh, no stuff. Wow. The pants yeah. don't complement oh, the jacket. Oh, wait a minute. You're, why is it you're under no, valuing just, it without... No, that's the... Yeah, I already yeah. pointed that out. Oh. Where are those? What? Oh, they're oh, like... Fruit. Fruit. He just what are they called? Prickly birds? What you call them? I, I call them prickly birds. I don't know if they're... They're, they're, they're sweet. They come from a cactus. They grow the on top of the cactus. Right red in the middle of a really juicy fruit. Yeah. Thank you. We're about to do a dollar sale. Don't want to say it too loud because no one will buy anything. Huh? I think there's a lot of people, but there's just a lot more vendors than last weekend, so everyone's spread out, so we're not getting as busy. Yeah. There's a lot of vendors here today. Mm -hmm. Words out, definitely. Words out last that the flea market's awesome. back. Yeah. We were a small group of people here, so we got a lot of business. So, see the shirt? First time yeah. I've worn the new shirt. We got rocking our hats. All right, so we are having a bet today with the pirate. 
and it's I'm not clear about the the prize. It's either one dollar, such as this, Ooh. or it is for a branded hat. A uh, dollar. A dollar. I think our odds are pretty good. We had sold about four hundred and something. He had sold twenty five dollars. At the time. Right now, I think we're a little over six. Yeah. Well, it might be better than that. It's, it's hard to count the small bills. But last week on this day, Sunday, we did 1,100 and something. So far cry from that. Different load, but we didn't have a great Which load last time. I'm glad you fine. finally came clean about that. I just forgot about that. <laughs> I was right. doing our laundry and I was like, where did this 20s come from? I'm like, oh, these are the pants I wore. And then I put the 20s here to keep them safe. I forgot. Well, we're going to uh, go through, scrub this this uh, booth, pull out anything that's probably $8 and up. Uh, and uh, start preparing soon. We'll do uh, 4 bucks on that. 4 bucks? Yeah. yeah. Probably gonna definitely 99.9% .9 lose this competition with Jack because Jack had a big load and I've only sold $75. Granted, Harold has offered me 600 for that Freemason sword and the full outfit, which I don't wanna go that low. I'm trying to take a minimum of 1,000 because you never know if, um, I think there's more value to this sword than the average sword in the Freemason world. Now that I'm done selling, I'm gonna shop around and pick for a minute. Let's see if we find anything. Oh, look, we found Picker's Warehouse. It's Axel, ladies and gentlemen. Are you filming me filming you? I'm filming you. We just opened it in a minute. Don't film me filming you. That's a wrap. I think I did a total of $76 with my day. Basically, probably spent more than that than I actually made. But I did turn down a heck of a sale from Harold, but it wasn't enough. I wanted a thousand. I told him that's my minimum number. So, anyway, that's a wrap. To flag me down. I don't even have time to go. I'm, I'm here because I have to grab some stuff. I would love to just sit here and go through all these amazing boxes that I've just been sitting on. No telling what's in them. But I got to grab a few things for the auction. I'm going to have an auction a day on my channel. Storage auction. Pirate. No, this is storage auction. But I'm going to have an auction on pirate auctions. Got to pick up a few things. Make sure I got a big auction. And my, would I love to just be able to go through some of this stuff right now. And just like that, we grabbed a whole bunch of stuff that we will be selling on today's auction on Paradox, which will actually have already come out. But here's the thing, if you're mad that I've already sold it, fact is just subscribe to Pirate Auctions and you will no longer miss all the live auctions we have on all the great storage finds. And anyway, I'm gonna get home and I'm gonna set this up and I'm gonna go live. Flip side of the flea market, Jack came out with a great load of low end stuff, little prices, but lots of sales. I came out with a few big things, trying to hope to make it big on one ticket. It didn't work. I sold 75. Jack went over a thousand. I think he said thousand, one thousand thirty nine or something. But he won a dollar bet. It is what it is. I love a good friendly competition. And shout out to Lockernuts, my good friend Jack and Jana.